Welcome back. We have Terry Ann Wilson joining us on the show from the Camel's Film Society. Tonight, screening a new film as part of the fall film ser series. It's called A Ghost Story. Welcome back to the show, my dear. Thank you. Yes. It's so nice to be here. It's great to have you. I watched the trailer, which we will watch in a minute, some of it. It looks a little scary, a little it, spooky. You know what's interesting is it's actually, it's not a horror film in the mm -hmm. traditional sense. Okay. Um, it really is a story about uh, life and love and, and grief. It's also a story that asks us to explore really big existential questions, like how long can we be remembered after we pass away? And it's a really, really creative, this is a high concept film. This is what independent film is all about. A film that comes along that you sit in a theater and watch that uh, for some are, that are saying they, they've watched it are saying, um, wow, it really just stayed with me for weeks and weeks after and really made me think. I love those movies. Yeah, yeah. and it's this particular film is directed uh, by a fellow named David Laurie, and he actually um, also wrote the script, and he really wanted to play with his image, this image of a ghost in a, in a white sheet with the black eye holes, which, mm -hmm. he, you know, is, we grow up with that, right? Yes. It's, it's this kind of cartoony character, but it's really... Um, very little dialogue. It's really driven by uh, the score, actually, which was composed by a man named Daniel Hart's really haunting, beautiful score. Shot in a 4.3 aspect ratio. It's got these curved edges on the screen. It's like looking at old photographs. So it's very transportative. So while you're watching it, it's this really transportive experience while you follow this young couple. Uh, C and M are their names. Uh, C is played by Casey Affleck. Uh, M is played by Rooney Mara. And they uh, have a, a marriage. They live in a suburban house in Texas in flatlands in an undeveloped suburban neighborhood. And there is very early in the film, there is an accident. And, and C is killed in this car accident. She needs to go to the morgue and identify him. And after the morgue is empty and he is alone, he rises in this sheet. And then is now this ghost kind of out of time who is sort of... Uh, forced to review his life and review history and have this sort of experience of, of watching his uh, sort of life slip away from him. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. different. And sounds a bit sad almost, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We're going to watch a quick part of the trailer. We should watch the whole thing, but we'll see what we get through. Let's take a look. When I was little, we used to move all the time. I would write these notes, and I would fold them up really small, and I would hide them. What'd they say? They were just like things I wanted to remember, so that if I ever wanted to go back, there'd be a piece of me there waiting. so much history they make it seem like the ghost is spooky but i don't think that's the intent at all it's about it's eerie but sadly eerie yes it's it really is uh, a journey into empathy i think a film like this one and it really is a, uh, a very very different way to approach story because mm -hmm. it's highly visual it's, it's driven by uh, different conventions than we're maybe accustomed to when we go to see a film. So mm -hmm. we really are, uh, again, looking at something where we're a witness. We're really a witness to this process, the grieving process that these, this person goes through. Um, but also we start asking the questions um, that the film raises of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a very, very thought-provoking film. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think there is a, a esoteric, perhaps, a, you know, maybe, maybe spiritual, but certainly not frightening. Yes, yeah. yes. Fantastic. So this is screening tonight at the Paramount, 7 o'clock. 7 p.m. Yep, and it's the latest in the series. This is the second uh, film of the series, is that yes, right? Yes, the second film of the film series, and tickets at the door, $8. Uh, membership is $2. It's good for the whole year. And you can also pick up your tickets in advance at Movie Mart. We love to have people go visit 444 St. Paul Street and visit our friends at Movie Mart. And
and uh, we're very much looking forward to seeing everybody at the cinema. Yeah, it looks like a great show tonight. Excellent. All right, Terry Ann, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. We'll look forward to uh, screening the uh, trailers with you as we go along through the weeks ahead as well, because there's yes. more to come. Information on the screen, though, tonight, 7 o'clock, Paramount Theatre. This is sure to be a thinker. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.